Today, I'd like to do a little experiment between two saxophones. I have here my personal late 1920s Bisher Alto and a modern Buffet Crumpone uh, Alto that I've been doing some overhaul for a friend. So what I'd like to do is a play test and comparison between the vintage instrument with a vintage setup and a modern instrument with a modern setup. Now, right off the bat, you can see a few differences between the two instruments. Holding the instruments, the buffet is a lot heavier than the Bisher. This is at least a full pound, if not two pounds, heavier than the Bisher is. So what, uh, I'll go into a little bit of details on the setups on these instruments. Everything on the Bisher instrument is stock. This is the original late 1920s stock mouthpiece and the original late 1920s stock ligature. On the Buffet Crompon, I'll be using a modern Selmer Sea Star mouthpiece and a modern Rovner ligature. For both instruments to have a completely fair and unbiased uh, sample, I will be using the same reed. It will be a Legere number two and three quarters. Now, in order to give this a complete scientific um, backing, I have a decibel meter here on my smartphone. And this will tell me exactly how loud and how soft these two instruments play comparably. For a background reading, a quiet room here is reading about 40 to 41 decibels. I will start off with the Bisher Alto. I'll first play a simple C major scale at a normal playing volume. <laughs> meter it's reading between 98 and 102. I will now play that same scale as loudly as I can play on this instrument. <sighs> that were between 104 and 108. And now I will play the same thing as softly as I can on this instrument. <laughs> soft level I'm reading anywhere between 82 and 90. That gives me a range on the Bisher between 82 on the low end and 108 on the high end for a total decibel range of 26 decibels between 82 and 90, uh, 82 and 108, averaging about 100. We're going to do the same thing now on the modern buffet. We'll start off with the standard C scale played at a comfortable dynamic. <laughs> between 100 and 104, about two decibels louder on average than the Bisher. We'll now play at the maximum volume. between 108 and 112, about four decibels louder 
than on the Bisher. And now we'll do the same thing at the softest dynamic I can play. <laughs> anywhere from 88 all the way up to about eight, uh, 94, averaging about 91. In general, it's 8 decibels to 9 decibels louder than the vintage instrument. So comparing the two, throughout the entire range, the modern instrument with the modern mouthpiece is considerably louder than the vintage instrument with the vintage mouthpiece using the exact same reed. Now, why am I doing this? Because I've talked to a lot of composers and orchestrators about using saxophone in the orchestra and a lot don't like it because they say it's too loud. It doesn't blend with the rest of the woodwinds. Well, part of that is that this instrument here with this mouthpiece are geared more for playing jazz. I play in a uh, swing band and I use this instrument with this mouthpiece and I can, I really can't compete with the amount of volume going on around me. But this is my instrument, this is the mouthpiece that fits it and gives me the best intonation. I'd rather be in tune than loud. Were I to use this instrument, I'd be able to play a lot louder and be able to fill in a lot more. So, the different instruments have quite distinct playing characteristics. Uh, if I wanted to do a lot more classical playing, I'd use something like this. If I wanted to play a lot more modern, a lot more jazz, I'd probably lean towards something like this. So, I hope you found this interesting. A, a look at the actual decibel readings between two very different alto saxophones. Thank you for watching.